so we got UFO bait as usual couple flinger spots here lover spot here um, just a couple tires and then a full block off right here this is uh, for lava as well so basically keeping this path open and I'm having this as my main path Valley doesn't really get hit as often as most of the other amps just guaranteed on 15 and 25 so you don't have to have a crazy amount of durability I'm able to use just tires and freeze basically for all the way up to wave 25 the UFO is 99% of the time gonna shoot this out right off the bat so but until then all the husks are just gonna basically stay here if anything po pokes their head up this way they're gonna get absolutely obliterated all right so I haven't changed much of this but I'm gonna tell you numbers okay so this main wall has the most I would put six or seven walls here with I would say five wall darts this wall puncher and the wall light so anything that pokes their head up here we're using just different reload speeds uh, the more gold the better right so if I use a double reload a single reload and no reload that's a perfect combo right there but you could even mix it up with some colors these are all just 144s so I would recommend having at least five darts on the middle I put six just to make it really fun but yeah let's say six five four six five four Everywhere else can have three or four, basically. Um, maybe you want to beef up these three, one, two, three, because it's around the computer and there's a chance the mini boss will punch down on it. But this is a mini boss dancer. The mini boss is going to walk through this middle one and funnel here as if the walls were above, or he'll funnel here. That's only going to be on wave 5 and 16. Mist pods don't do that. Mist pods are assassins. They go towards the players in their AFK spots. Okay. So, there's tar pits on each tile. One here flo floating underneath. Nothing floating here. It's just tar pits. Tar pit here. Tar pit here, here, and here. No freeze, just tar. These nine tiles. This is for a flinger. There's four darts specifically for him. This is for a flinger as well. There's four darts specifically for him. Sorry, this one. Okay, so I've got a freeze here. A dart pointing here as well. And a dart right here as well. Okay, this uh, can just be a wooden floor spike. Don't, definitely don't need a floor launcher. Those uh, don't even activate, unfortunately. I'll have to lower them like two tiles. Freeze here. Um, you could put a dart over here somewhere if you wanted to. But we've got four here and one right here. Just regular bump a block going all the way across. If it breaks, I don't care. And yeah, you can get creative however you want with the damage here. Um, you don't really need anything but darts. They have the fastest reload time, good crit capabilities, and uh, yeah, they'll melt basically everything. You just need darts. Wall launchers are good to have too, and wall lights. Feel free to mix it up however you like. So the flinger shield, 
barely even need it. Eight, eight, and eight. That's it. You probably don't need these. I think I only have, what, four anti-airs for the whole build? Five, six, seven, okay. That's quite a bit. Don't really need them. Do not need them at all. As soon as everything walks up here, they'll start pathing this way, getting obliterated. They'll get real close, and usually they die right here at the dynamo. That's as far as they get. But if they can get past that, they're going to want to go this way, this way, this way, and then start whatever, punching down on this wall right here. They come all the way to the back. Okay, you, don't, you don't need this, you don't need this. I have another connection point here. And I've got an actual physical layer as well here, mimicking this rotated wall. Basically a fake block off for lava. The other part of the block off for lava is, uh, I think it's cheese meats or bear tigers. Uh, X block, just like this. Breaks sometimes for lava, but usually the smasher will phase through it nicely. Okay, with the dev pillars, you don't need them. I've floated floors. It's sufficient. I don't need them myself, but it's nice to just see how they work. Okay, you could add another floor here. Uh, I don't have a lava bomb anymore, so I could add floors here, see if the UFO targets that. You can add uh, floors here, here. Float them. Yeah. That's basically all you need. A couple tar pits here. Used to be here to stop a smasher from charging the J block that I used to need for rampant, but I don't need it anymore. So it's fine, he can charge all he wants. Yeah, they'll charge from the amp. Go all the way over here. See, I don't need these. Here's another connection point. Floor is holding the dart. Yeah, that's it. That's how I've updated my uh, UFO. Yeah, there's no need for any upside down traps up here. It's just really cool when a flinger throws something up here and they get killed by the zappers or whatever. 